hey what's up youtube i'm back with another video i just want to let you guys know that this series that i'm doing right here is called how my mom reacts and basically it's just stuff from my childhood or stuff that i did in high school or when i was little that my mom kind of reacted extremely to like when I tell my friends and family the story, they be like, oh, that's crazy. You should like do a story time on there or whatever. So this whole like story time series, like whenever you see how my mom reacted to something, that's what it is. It's just me explaining what happened and how like I got in trouble. So without further ado, let's get into this story time. basically gonna be like how my mom reacted once she found out about my eighth grade boyfriend so like I'm just gonna go into like the backstory and stuff or whatever so basically I had came from like going to mostly like white people school like I went to magnet schools like I think I went to an all-black school when I was little like once or twice but mostly I went to magnet schools so basically, I was going to the school named Keyville. It was in Keyville, Louisiana, <laughs> and I'm from Shreveport. So basically, the whole thing started when like, cause like when I first came there, I was really to myself. I only knew my cousin and I knew the boy, but like we hadn't talked like really since we was little cause we lived by each other. Like my whole family lives in lived in the same neighborhood. Like my auntie, one auntie lived at the corner, one auntie lived at the next street over, another one around the corner. My grandma lived around the corner from him and we all just kind of lived in the same neighborhood. So like I knew him, but like we hadn't talked or like hung out or nothing since we were little. So like the only person I really knew was my cousin and like, yeah, she was like, we had the same classes, I believe, but like, she, mm. so, none, like, everything was chill, like, just, I don't know, and then I met this friend group or whatever. It was at this moment that she knew she fucked up. And there was this one particular girl, well, girl who kind of started everything, because like, she liked it, his best friend. So she would like call us and tell us to put the phone on mute whenever she was on the phone with his best friend or she would group call us and then leave the phone or leave us on the phone with him and she'll call back and be like, hey, what do you say and stuff like that. So one day when I got to school and I was like meeting up with them or whatever because me and the one girl who I told you who liked his best friend, we had got like real close. So like she had asked me did I know who the boy was? And I was like, yeah, um, we were cool when we were younger and stuff like that. And then like the next thing I know, they like running through the hall, Don't like so and so, da da da. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Ooh, oh my God. Stop fucking lying. So it was really weird because one of my friends, well, one of the people who I'm still like cool with now, she she be like, it's crazy because it really did start off as like, it started off as a lie. Like I was like, bro, I do not like this person. Like that's crazy or whatever. So then when she would call me like on thing, on like group messages and stuff like that, and Uber and stuff. Like, he would also be on the phone. It was no longer just, like, her and the other boy. It was now her, the other boy, and him. And I'm like... Dude, what the fuck? Oh, my God. So, basically, on a phone call one day, they were like, okay, the his best friend was like, if he asks me out, then he'll ask, the, that he'll ask out my friend or whatever because he knew th that was crazy like he knew that she liked him and he like legit tried to go with every fucking body else i was like really nigga 
but anyway yeah so she he was just like if you ask that diamond i ask out so and so or whatever so then it was just kind of like we started going out so that he would go out with her or whatever and like you know we started hanging back out again it was cool or whatever but like it was just like a great relationship like it wasn't really nothing fancy nothing special nothing like well <laughs> it was regular or whatever so this one day and this is like this is leading up to how my mom find out this one day like we were leaving getting ready to leave i don't think he rode the bus home that day because they played basketball they played sports i think they played basketball and football but i think it was basketball season and like i had went to somebody's locker i believe it was the girl i went to her locker and his locker and his best friend locker was over there so he saw me and he was like um, let me get a kiss before you leave because I'm not gonna see you on the bus today and stuff like that and I'm standing there like what bro what are you talking about man because I ain't never kissed no boy before and I was just like you want me to kiss you I was just like mmm so I gave him this little smile, kiss or whatever to like, you know, so he'll leave me alone about it. Girl. <laughs> so then, it was like later that night and like he had already texted me and I, I didn't respond. Like I don't respond to text messages, even like to this day, like I respond to text messages so slow. Like I get sidetracked. So. He had texted me and he was like, how is the kid? You know how you know how stuff happened and they text you about it? So like he texted me and he was like, how is the kiss or whatever? And I didn't respond. So we had ended up getting on the phone later on. It was like me and him, but it was also the girl and the his best friend. So like when they got on the phone off the phone, like he started asking me questions like, oh, uh, um, you didn't ever text me back and answer my response or whatever. And like, I guess my mama, like my mama room was next to mine and then it was my brother room. So I guess she kind of like heard him talking and y'all, I wasn't allowed to date. Like literally I was, she said I wasn't allowed to date until I was 16. And then when I was 16, she changed to 17. She just kept changing. So I really just did whatever. Don't tell my mommy that. But... <clears throat> I guess she heard him talking or whatever. So she came in there and she was like, who are you on the phone with? And you know, I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to, you know, play it all. I'm like, oh, I'm on the phone with um, the girl. Or I was trying to say a girl in there. And like, he talked again. I was like, oh my gosh. It's about to go down because y'all don't, y'all. My mom, I was just like, I knew in my head, I was like, it's over with for me, y'all. R.I.P. Pray for me because I knew it was over with. So then, like, bro, I was not letting that phone go. Like, she, like, I hung it up, but like, bro, she, she was like trying to get the phone, trying to get the phone. I'm like, oh my god, I'm finna die. I'm finna die tonight. It's my last night living. And like somehow we ended up in my brother room. And like all I felt was like something across my face. I think it was like an extension cord or something. And I dropped the phone. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh no. Y'all, oh my god. I was just like, my whole objective was to hold on to the phone. We had one job. Hold on to the phone. And I dropped it. And she picked it up and she started reading the text messages and i'm like oh my gosh oh my god oh my god so then like she reading the text messages, she's like you kissed who you kisses her and then she just like 
bow, 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 bow. Like, it was WWE Smackdown up in there. It was like crazy. And I'm just like, in my head, I'm just like, dang, I should have like, mm. So then she took my phone or whatever. And I was, you know, I was mad, duh, because I ain't had no phone. But like, she kept my phone for a long time. Y'all feel like I didn't have a phone for like, three months like she, I, she had my phone for a long time but y'all i'm telling you she like dang like i thought i thought we was in a wrestling match for real ufc something i was like dang like is it that crucial like but okay, y'all so like that video, I actually had to record a few times because, like, I kept saying names and stuff, and I did not want to say people's names because, like, you never know how people will react. Like, some the people who know the story, like, the people who know the story know it's them, so I didn't want to, like, say their names and, like, they get mad that I said their names or something. So, like, I had to record this so many times to, like, take the names out and stuff. So, if you liked it, <laughs> thanks for watching the video. Like, subscribe. And leave a comment if you want, you know, let me know how you felt or like, let me know some stuff that happened to you when you were little with your mom or whatever.